CBS Chief Election Campaign Correspondent Robert Costa is with us now. All right, Robert, we were talking about this last night. Big donors in the Republican Party were watching to see just how large Donald Trump's margin would be. What are they saying tonight? Fresh reporting tonight for CBS Evening News, calling some of the sources close to the biggest Republican donors in the country. They say the mood behind the scenes, Nora, flat. That Haley has a lot of support politically, but they're not ready to open their checkbooks. They just don't see a viable path. But Haley is still going to hold fundraisers in Florida, California, and New York. Nikki Haley sharpening her attacks on Donald Trump, talking about his age, his mental acuity, and challenging him to a debate. Will that happen? It's not going to happen. Trump campaign officials tell me it's off the table. He sees no reason to elevate her campaign by being on that stage. Let's talk about President Joe Biden. He got won a big endorsement uh, today from the UAW. And of course, that state of Michigan is a key state. Getting the UAW endorsement really significant for President Biden, especially in Michigan, which is going to be a battleground. But the scene there today at that rally with the UAW, really indicative of the challenges he's facing, was interrupted constantly by protesters like he was in Virginia last night, complaining about his foreign policy, especially how he's handling Israel's conflict with Hamas. This is a lingering issue over the Democrats right now. They like President Biden in the labor community, but a lot of younger progressives not so happy about foreign policy. Yeah, that has worried a number of Democrats what's happening in Michigan. Robert Costa, thank you so much. Appreciate your reporting.